your dog's coughing and maybe even keeping you all up at night, but you don't know whether they need to go to the vet or whether you can treat them at home. Let's jump in. Hi, I'm veterinarian Dr. Alex. This is Our Pets Health, where I believe that dogs are part of the family and I want to help you understand and optimise their health so that they can live the full and happy life that you want for them. So one of the most common causes of coughing in dogs has to be kennel cough. The other word for this is infectious tracheobronchitis. Their trachea, their larynx is really inflamed and that's what's causing the cough. This is an infectious problem that's often caused by a virus or bacteria. The bacteria that's most common is something called Bordetella bronchoseptica. This can actually cause some quite nasty illness. It's related to whooping cough in humans. But by far and away the most common causes are viruses and these are things like adenovirus, herpes virus, distemper virus, rheovirus, parainfluenza virus. Often these diseases are self-limiting which means that they get better by themselves but that doesn't mean that you can't do things to help support your dog to keep them comfortable and to stop them getting even sicker. And one classic feature is that kennel cough produces a very distinctive goose honk like cough. Thankfully it's not normally a fatal condition, although very young animals, those that are immunocompromised or have problems with their airways, the most common here is actually our brachycephalic, our squash nose dog breeds, whose airways are normally very narrow, so any inflammation can exacerbate their breathing difficulties. These dogs may develop pneumonia, and in extreme cases that can be fatal, but thankfully most cases don't progress to this level. Other dogs that are at a higher risk of developing kennel cough are those that are kept in crowded or poorly ventilated environments. So boarding kennels might be a classic example here. Those that are exposed to lots of dust or smoke or other pollutants, those that live in cold environments and also those that are in stressful conditions are going to be at a higher risk. And really these infections are caught by breathing in these bugs in aerosols and droplets. So simply by passing another dog with this problem who happens to cough at the wrong time can transmit this disease to your dog. So it's simply not a case that only dogs going into boarding kennels are at risk of developing kennel cough. This is one reason why a lot of people are actually starting to call it canine cough. So really the more dogs that your dog is coming across, the higher the risk. So this could be, um, as well as boarding kennels, it could be the groomers, the dog park, the doggy daycare. Simply going down to the beach where everyone else walks their dog after work puts your dog at a much higher risk. And definitely for all of those, vaccination is a really good idea. So the good news is that if your dog does get kennel cough, then it's a self-limiting disease. They're generally going to get better without major intervention and without becoming seriously unwell. Now, if your dog is running a fever or if they're sick and unwell, lethargic in themselves, then antibiotics may be needed. But typically these aren't given because the most common cause is a virus, much like a cold rather than a bacterial infection. Now, if your dog is being kept up all night, if they seem to be uncomfortable in their throat, it might be that they're given anti-inflammatories or anti-tussives, anti-cough medications by their vet. But there are things that you can do at home to help ease their coughing, to help soothe their throat and improve their recovery. The first of these is simply to rest them let them take it easy, let them relax at home. Don't take them for their normal exercise because this could exacerbate their inflammation in their throat and it's also going to spread the disease to other dogs. You can give them some honey, about a teaspoon of honey, two or three times a day. Mixing that with some warm water can help when you're giving that. That can actually soothe their throat. And also spending time in a humid environment, so in a steamy bathroom after you've had a hot bath or shower, or even using a nebulizer can just help hydrate the airways, which helps any excess mucus that's building up to be removed. Clearly though, if your dog is unwell, you need to be seeing your vet because there are several other important and potentially serious causes of coughing that I discuss in the other video linked on screen. So make sure you click on that and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, I'm veterinarian Dr. Alex. This is Our Pets Health, because they're family.